Okay, so if I'm being totally, completely honest, um, my brain used to be a very scary, scary place. Um, <laughs> I used to get so overwhelmed and so, like, just stressed out and in my own head. Um, and so I was, like, constantly burning out, constantly overthinking everything. Um, I was always on the hamster wheel, always making myself crazy. And so, in hindsight, it's no wonder that I had so many off days. It's no wonder that I had more off days than on days. Um, because I was exhausted. Like, I just had so many thoughts in my brain all the time. Just like it was like my brain was exploding out of my ears like <laughs> it was a scary place to be and the thing was like I thought that if I took time off or if I took a break or if I pressed pause or if I took time to like just take care of stuff and like take a break and not answer to anyone and not do all the things on my list I would fall more behind I would disappoint people and basically I would just, you know, be, I would just be useless. So I had all these stories in my head that like, even though I was like so exhausted and so overwhelmed and so stressed out, I had these stories that I wasn't allowed to take a break. So it was a vicious cycle. I was on the hamster wheel pretty much 24 seven. Um, and it was not fun. No wonder it was so hard to be myself, you know, because because when you're running yourself so ragged and when you're putting so much pressure on yourself and you're not taking a break and you're living in your head and you're making yourself crazy, it's a little hard to think about just being who you are, right? And to be honest, when you're constantly thinking and you're in your own head, uh, it's also hard to be who you are, but that's another story for tomorrow or another day. But yeah, I just wanted to share that, like, I know what it's like. I've been there. The story of my life was that I lived up here instead of, like, out in the world. Um, and then everything changed when I finally learned how to manage my thoughts and how to manage them in a healthy way and nurture my mind in a, in a more loving way. And I'll share more tomorrow. But I'm curious to know what is coming up. I forgot to mention, silly me, that I am hosting an amazing webinar on Monday, April 10th. Originally, it was Monday, April 3rd, but I'm moving it unapologetically um, to April 10th. And it's happening inside the community for introverts. And I'm going to help you guys, whether you are still in the state of like living in your head or you're finally coming out of your head or you're just working on confidence, wherever you are at, I'm going to give you the tools that have helped me to be unapologetically myself, to unapologetically take the time that I need to press pause, take a step back, take care of me, and just in general, just stop apologizing for taking up space, for taking time for yourself, for taking care of you. So wherever you're at, make sure to, to join this webinar. It's going to be a total vibe. My last couple webinars have been described as life-changing and this one's going to be no different.